bring you a breaking scandal involving Maleko Anatelue, the CEO of New Talent Agency and father of Caspian Anatelue, Princess Alice May of Windenburg's recently announced boyfriend. It has been discovered that Maleko Anatelue engaged in an affair with one of his clients almost five years ago. This information was only recently brought to light due to an old newspaper article that was revealed to be pulled by Queen Leilana of Sulani herself. While this scandal alone has caused uproar and raised eyebrows regarding Mr. Anatelua's integrity in the entertainment industry, it has also led to the discovery of a larger issue at play. Viewers have been left questioning why Queen Leilana would want to hide this information and what else she may be concealing. Shockingly, it has been revealed that the Queen is aware of several scandalous activities of her family members, including her late aunt, Princess Ali'i. A reliable source has confirmed that 30 years ago, back in April, Ali'i purchased a substantial amount of MDMA, an illegal drug that acts as both a stimulant and a psychedelic from the black market. Even more concerning, it has been uncovered that Queen Leilana was well aware of her aunt's actions and even kept her aunt's ledger containing proof of the drug purchase a secret. The public is left to question the motives behind Queen Leilana's actions and what else the Queen is letting her family get away with. Will we uncover more secrets kept by the Sulani royal family? And are other royal families around the world just as disreputable? Only time will tell. As always, we will continue to bring you updates on this developing story as more information is released. Thank you for tuning in. I never know how to start these episodes when I know that you guys have just seen something extremely dramatic. Uh, so we're just gonna get right into it. So if you did skip the part that I suggested due to the content warning, obviously a lot happened in the beginning of the episode, which we are going to talk about in this episode and we will see the effects of everything and the aftermath of everything. And it's just going to be a lot, but if you did miss it, Alice May did follow Caspian outside to make sure he was okay. She wanted to make sure he was safe. Uh, they got into a fight and then he just wasn't thinking. He just was like, I need to be alone um, and just, was like, I need to get out of here and was walking and there was a drunk driver and Alice May saw the car and she pushed Caspian out of the way and then she got hit by the car. So 
We're starting this episode out at the hospital. We're going to be using some mods to help me with storytelling, and I'll talk about those in a sec. We're going to have happy things also in this episode. We're also going to be using the realistic childbirth mod because Genevieve and John are going to be having their baby, and Italian Elon are going to be having their baby. So that'll happen in the middle of the episode, and it's going to break up all the seriousness and all the story stuff. And this is the Ah, there's a lot. Okay, so let's just hang in there. Um, so I also did post two story posts from the last episode, just essentially going into detail of what happened in the last episode, mostly of the two things of Kaleo. So if you missed that, they are linked below. And we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm also in a new place. We moved. I don't know if I mentioned that, uh, but we're still in LA. We just moved to a different place. Um, so this is the new background now. All right, as you can see, we have an emergent, an emergency situation. Alice May has been involved in, it says involved in a horrific car accident. We know she wasn't driving. She got hit by the car and that she needs to be rushed to the hospital right away. So this is all happening uh, essentially a couple hours after Alice May got hit. Finn called the ambulance. They rushed her to the hospital and now her family has gotten notified. There's a bunch of people here. Obviously Caspian's here. He's freaking out. We'll see that in just a second. But the mod that I am using is the healthcare Redux mod by Adit Indigo. I will, I'll post the link below. However, just be aware it does say that it was free, uh, but when you click the free link on their page, it doesn't take you there. I think they might have changed the link. So this might be behind a paywall. I'm not 100% sure, but I will link it below anyway. All right, so it now says, okay, so we're at the, obviously this is the sim, so y'all are gonna have to bear with me. We're at the hospital, um, but after you say okay, it'll say go to the hospital. So Alice May is getting a procedure now. They're trying to save her. Apparently your sims can die from this mod. So just a fair warning. Obviously, really hope that doesn't happen. I think we have have to wait and see until the procedure's done to see like the status of everything. Um, so, so we have to wait patiently for that. The entire family is coming, obviously. I think that Amira and Jabari and Cedric, I think the other family honestly would be here now too. I don't see why they wouldn't. So we're going to make them come here. And obviously Caspian's here. I think Nia is on her way here and that Maleko is on his way here too. So we're gonna talk about that in a sec. Everyone Everyone's kind of freaking out, tense, terrified. Uh, uh, Amira, I, she's terrified. And we're gonna see what happens with the mod. So the car accident that I'm able to do as an emergency, it requires the travel mod, the Sim Nation travel mod. Sim Nation travel mod, yes, that's it. I'm going to link that below as well. Um, so. I don't think without it you would be able to do the car accident, but they do have other things. There's a lot to it. There's allergies, other injuries, and like checkups and preventive care and all that stuff. It's quite wild and really great for storytelling. All right, Helen showed up. I think Char yeah, Charles is also here. Oh, I think Alice, or not Alice May, I think Amir is asking, asking for encouragement. Car oh, oh, Charles. <laughs> Okay, um, and she's asking for encouragement. We're waiting. I sh it might take a bit for Bellatrix to get here. Nia is supposed to be here soon. Everyone's supposed to be here. So essentially, everyone is just. I mean, it's a very tense time. They're just freaking out, waiting. I think Caspian's in shock. I mean, he just found this out about his parents in the most horrible way possible. It's all over the news. Again, I think that it probably maybe would have gotten out by now. That I, I think this poll attack. Ooh, whoops. Whoops. I think this whole entire hospital is just like being protected. This we'll say is a, a private wing um, where people can't disturb them. So this is where the family is going to be. Alice May, they're doing procedures and tests and making sure she's okay. I'm sure that the, where are you going, Khaled? I'm sure that the doctors already told Amir and Jabari when they got here. First of all, I can imagine her just like freaking out both of, I mean, Cedric too, but like Amir and Jabari were running up here asking the doctors if she's okay, asking Finn if she's okay, asking what the heck happened. I think Finn has just, he's he's on alert, he's on patrol. Um, and they told Amira and Jabbar, they're just like, it is honestly a miracle that she survived. If she doesn't have uh, like permanent damage, I'm sure that she'll have like some permanent things, but like if she doesn't, oh, d now, now? Are y'all jokesters right now? I mean, sure. It's 
a really tense tie, but okay. <laughs> you know what? Out of all of the siblings for this to come up with, it should be Charles, so I'm, I'm glad it's Charles, but that's actually really hilarious. Not now, though. This is important. This is tense. This is very serious. Look at Cedric just waiting. He's like poking his little finger. They're terrified. They're scared. Anyway, okay. So, oh, the emote does say, or the moodlet does say, bruised and bandage. Princess AM er, injured her arm pretty I think she injured a lot of things pretty badly. This is going to hurt for a while. So true. And it's going to take more than two days to recover. But anyway, yeah, I, I don't actually know how long this is going to take. Well, I mean, this worked because we're going through story stuff in the meantime, but everyone's kind of, you know, eh, freaking out. I did have to cheat a few moodlets, but I think that the mod will allow some other moodlets to be had. Will scream incoherent? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think she's already done this to Jabari, but yeah. What? Wait, wait, wait. What? Do I, have I seen an animation for this? What happens? Scream incoherently. Why is nothing happening? Oh dear. I don't know why I want to see this. Is that bad? Oh, she's. Oh, she looks so sad. She's a mess, Amira. I mean, they've gotten to this call like late at night. It is the middle of the night. It's like 3 a.m. Okay, nothing's happening. <laughs> okay, well, we'll just keep this on her. And if she screams, she. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god! Oh, 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 wait, 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 where are you going, Amira? <gasps> that was so sudden, that was, I know I was like kind of expecting it, but I wasn't expecting it at the same time. Okay, okay, I mean, yeah. I mean, that, I think, uh, yeah. Wait, what happens if Cedric screams? Well, okay, well, hold on, we'll wait, we'll wait. We'll wait for the screaming incoherently. So, oh, 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 okay, so we do have more of the family here now. Fallon, Abraham, Diana. I think Bellatrix hope will be here soon. I guess she's traveling further. I don't know why Kelly and Charles are just standing there. Maybe y'all should come here too. Diana and Abraham are kind of dressed up. Maybe they were out on a date night or something when this happened. I mean, honestly, the only thing really coming up is to scream coherently. So we're just gonna do, honestly, they're probably trying to calm her down. She's probably freaking out. I think Caspian's in complete shock. So he's kind of just sitting here in shock, but I think he's just like, you know, I, I don't know how long this is gonna take Alice May, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. We can't stay here forever. I, I, something's supposed to happen. I'm waiting for something to happen. Okay, anyway, we're, we're gonna bring Nia here because I think Nia is about to run in here because we're about to have that conversation with them. Okay, so Nia is now here. Oh, Zamoris. Oh, Zamoris. I, 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 I feel like I'm getting excited. Be like, oh, they're here. And then I remember like why they're here. Like, all oh, right, this is a very daunting time. Ignore the phone in Nia's hand. I can't get rid of it. Just ignore. Maybe she's on the phone. She was talking to Malenko. There, there's a lot of emotions happening right now. Anyway, she's here and Caspian's here. And he feels feeling bitter. We're gonna say that's about his dad. I mean, probably it was a bit about Alice May, but I think with Alice May, like obviously he was upset, but I do think a lot of it also has to do with he just, he, he, he need, he was taking it out on her. I mean, she was there. He was taking it out on her. Um, a lot of the focus obviously was like his parents. He doesn't understand why they didn't tell him and why they kept it from him. And now I, I think it's a lot of emotions between like slightly embarrassed and knowing that he thought his dad was just this great person and Apparently that wasn't true and Alice May knew about it the whole time. So now this is the first time his mom Nia is seeing him. His dad's on the way. So we're gonna we're gonna see if we can talk to him. I don't know how well this is going to go. Oh, no, don't insult his hygiene, please. Help fix bad relationship. Okay, so actually before Nia talks to Caspian, I wanna show you the sentiments that we've added to fit the situation here. So obviously Maliko and Caspian haven't talked yet, but after, th these are all the feelings that Caspian feels after what he saw, after what he found out. So now the relationship, it's at dislike. This relationship is tense. Things are likely to go awry. And then sentiments, Caspian and sentiments about Maliko. It says uh, theories about cheating, which definitely fits. If you uh, hover over it, it does say that like it in it implies that it's like if they were in a relationship, but obviously that is not the case, but he is furious about finding out that the reason that his parents got divorced is because his dad cheated on his mom when that's not what he was told. Um, he's furious, he's hurt, he's deeply wounded and Maliko's sentiments about Caspian, he feels guilty as heck and he is on his way. Doesn't know if his son is going to want to talk to him, but he needs to talk to, he needs to try. He needs to he needs to see him in person and try. Now, Nia, we're going to say is help fix relationship with Maleko. 
not with Kaleo or Will. Oh yeah, we'll talk about Kaleo in a sec though. So let's see how this goes. Maybe I should change her outfit. The throat is throwing me off. She looks very suited up and put together like this, but uh, oh, oh, they're hugging. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, well, okay. We'll pretend they're not smiling like that, but she's probably giving him the biggest hug. Like, oh my God, are you okay? And I am so sorry you had to find out this way. All right, so they're talking and Nia is trying to explain to him. Caspian is, Caspian is the, like, he's pretty upset. You can see this now. He is upset. He is like, why, why wouldn't you tell me? Why would you cover for that? Why would it, like, like why just why all these things like you guys are still are still friends I don't understand like all this stuff He's, he's so upset and he's venting to his mom and he just like doesn't know what to do and I think he's trying to keep it together because like he's, you know, uh, his girlfriend doesn't, if he doesn't know the status of his girlfriend right now, he knows that she is very injured and he is freaking out. And there's so much happening. There's so many emotions. I don't know what this happy thing is. Joe, don't, don't joke about body hair right now, Nia. Not now. This is so important. This is, this is Sims. Um, Caspian, can you get off your phone? I don't know. I don't, I don't actually know. I, I don't know what he's checking here. Maybe something with the news. I don't really know. But yeah, okay. So, uh, and so I think Nia's just, apolog no, obviously like she doesn't necessarily have something to apologize for because of like, this is all I'm like, oh, but apologizing that Caspian had to find out, find out this way, how she has no idea what happened that yes, they did take that like Leilana helped her out by uh, what is uh, pulling the newspaper article um way back then she knew he was so close with his dad she even though what happened even though he messed up so so badly she is so glad that he has a relationship with his dad and that she didn't want to like bash his dad or like ruin it that way because they like uh, what happened between her close wait oh bye they're having this conversation. They're getting closer from it. Oh my God. Oh my, okay, yeah, yes, please. Oh my gosh, okay, whoa. Anyway, yeah, she just wanted to leave it up to Maliko to tell Caspian she didn't, she's she's not trying to bash his dad or anything like that. Like they've, they've had their problems. They've worked through it on their own time. She thinks of it as like, this was a separate thing. That's what happened with us. But she did. She didn't. She doesn't want to turn her Caspian against his dad. She doesn't want to ruin what they have. And his dad knows how much he messed up, and they hate that he found out this way. But she's just trying to assure him, like your dad loves you so much. He is so ashamed. He completely regrets what he did. He he knows he made a mistake. And uh, she, I like not trying to say too much because I think she does want to let Maliko talk to Caspian, but just assuring him, like your dad loves you so much, so much. Oh no. Oh why? No, that is not a good, that's not a good response to save. Okay, well, maybe he's not completely taking this. Maybe he's like, you know, still very on edge and doesn't know. So we're gonna, Maliko's supposed to be here so we can talk to Maliko. Alice May, oh, I don't know how long that's going to take. It might take a while. Uh, well, hopefully not too, too long. So we're gonna have to wait for Maliko to get here. Maybe I'll just teleport him here to fast forward. But hopefully with Alice May, there won't be, I, 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 I don't want to like, shh. Is Y'all, Kaleo dared show his face here? The hospital's in, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, Kaleo, if you're here, we're, oh my God, we're gonna make this work. Um, okay, you're happy, we're, let's not be happy. I'm cheating his, pretend you didn't see that. Okay, he's scared and terrified. That is more fitting. Kaleo is, uh, I can the whole thing happened. He 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 realized what he did, and that now all the information is this is public, and it's all his fault. And then I guess he heard that Alice. May, he probably did. He heard that Alice May was in the hospital, so like I guess was on his way home. Heard about Alice May and was like, what? And 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 well, now he's getting a snack, but pretend he's not doing that. <laughs> um, what are you? Are you serious? Why are you running? Why are you? Oh, no, 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 get out. You don't want to be seen here. Are you eating cheese? Oh, you're eating an energy bar. Okay, you don't want to be seen here. You you have a 
remember, they have a restraining order against you, Kaleo. You are not allowed to be near Alice May. Reset, sir. Get, I would get out of here if I were... I mean, okay, so maybe he tries to come in and see. Is he over... Wait, hold on. I don't know how much he's... Go I don't... I. He shouldn't be here is the bottom line. He's not supposed... If, if, if Jabari sees him here... Oh. <laughs> and Kazarian! Okay, okay, so they don't know what Kaleo did. That's the thing. They don't know. They I'm like they don't know that Kaleo leaked all of this. Um, I don't know if Kaleo, I think Kaleo is trying to come in and like see Alice May, so he hears that she's in the hospital, rushes to the hospital. Obviously, it probably takes a couple hours to get here, but he made it here before Maleko and Samaria did, or and Bellatrix. Um, but okay, so now he's here. He's freaking out. Maybe he, then he sees Alice May's family and is like crap and like hides, hide Kaleo. Hide. Just stand here. I don't know. Stand here. So now Caspian is talking to Nia. Maybe he hears them. Maybe, me. okay, okay, okay. So Caspian is telling me he's freaking out about this. He's like trying to hold it together. And he's like, obviously this is an emotional conversation that they're having. And he's just, he's like, no, I can't. Like, I can't let this get to me. I need to, I need to like, I, I don't want to think about this anymore. I need to keep it together, all this stuff. And Nia is like, but son, you, you have every right to be freaking out and scared. And it's like, you're, I mean, I know you're concerned about Alice May. And then what just happened, what you just found out, like all of this happened. And Caspian is just like, no, I have to keep it together because if I let my emotions get the better of me, I will lose control like I did when I found out. And me losing control and me not being able to control my emotions is what got Alice May hurt. Like he, like, I mean, that's essentially, it was a downfall of things. So it's not all like one thing to blame here, but that's what he's thinking in his head is my girlfriend almost died and could possibly die because I couldn't control my emotions. I couldn't keep it together. I was the one who wanted to get out of there. I was the one who didn't see the car coming. She's the one who pushed me out of the way and now she's hurt and now she's hit and it's all my fault. And so Cassidy, it is like, who's saying this to his mom, Kaleo is overhearing this and I feel like having a complete, can I, can you scream incoherently, but like without them hearing you? Yeah, not really. He can, okay, well, let's, oh, no, oh, 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 Jim. Okay, I thought Jabari was gonna leave and see Kaleo, and that would have been bad. But maybe Caspian, okay, actually, you know what? I think Caspian and Nia are gonna go into a more private area to talk about. This. So maybe he's freaking, he said that, and then he like walks away and is like, I can't do this. And he is like, wait, son, come back. And then, so they're over there now. So Cas, or uh, you make my day so much better. Oh, that's sweet. This is very serious, but okay. Oh, Galen! Wait, where'd Kaleo go? What? Wait, what? When did you get? Oh, he he hide! hide. Wait, he's hiding! <laughs> Yo, he's literally hiding! <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Uh, he's hiding in a bug bed. That's fine. Uh, I don't know why that's there. Okay, <laughs> so he's hiding. Okay, so but yeah, maybe he heard that what Caspian said, and now Kaleo is like. Oh my god, this is all my fault. Oh my god, I was the one who leaked that. I I mean, like, I, I think he did. I mean, obviously, he was going to try to stop it anyway from leaking. He tried to run there. He tried to stop it. He didn't think he could do it. And now he feels extremely guilty. And then there's the whole thing with his aunt. But now, Alice, and I think, I think this is taking precedent right now. Like, wait, Alice May, what? Is she okay? Is she, like, you know? So I think he heard that and that hit him. And I think now he's having a complete breakdown. He's probably, uh, he's, I, I need to make him leave, but, but he's probably having a complete breakdown realizing what he did and that literally Alice May almost died for that he I I don't think he actually knows if she's going to live or not. Like, he, like he, he wasn't told the information that the, rest of the family was told, you know? So he's flipping out and having a complete breakdown. And now, sir, I'm gonna need, you're gonna, I, I you gotta get out of here. Oh my God, not through there. Wait, he ran. He, wait, wait. Okay, wait, we're good. Caspian, you're gonna, we're gonna just go here. Oh, oh, you totally passed him. You totally, totally passed him. Okay, so I don't think I said this, but I think Cedric knows what Kaleo did to uh, Alice May now, like, he, I think now he does. <laughs> okay, Kale Ka Cedric, I, f I can imagine, I have this image of Cedric, oh, Jabari left. Oh, you know, honestly, that's probably for the better. Um, Cedric seeing Kaleo and like, I think has, you know, since, delicious, yell at, <laughs> why he's over 
Overrated. Yell at. Let's yell at him. Seize him and like across the room. Oh, well, he ran to him across the room. But like across the room. Oh my gosh, look at. Wait, I ha I have. We have to see this. Hold on. Okay, but across the room, just yelling. Ye oh, he hates. He hates him. Yelling at. Kaleo, like, now, I mean, he's already, there's a lot of emotions here. You're being shunned by Prince Kaleo. Hold on, what? Oh. Okay, well, Diana, Diana. I think Diana would hold him back, but I think Cedric's just like, why? Like, how dare you show your face here? You hurt my sister. Like, all this stuff, yelling all this stuff. And, uh, okay, now you need to leave, Claire. You need to go. You, you, I think, I think that would make him go. He's like, oh, crap. Just, just go away. Just leave. You need to leave. He is running out of there. He, wait, wait, wait. Did we see it? Was he, oh, I thought we saw, oh. Oh, he was doing the like, oh, there's Megan. Hi, Megan. You're here to support the fam. Do you want to come here or? Well, okay, she's here. Anyway, yeah. Ooh. Okay, so Maleko is now here. Even more ashamed from feeling guilty about someone feeling bad. <gasps> when Maleko feels like he wronged a Sim, seeing them Sim unhappy makes him feel bad. Is this Maleko's? Oh, yeah, it's definitely her fault, dude. Okay, well. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna, let's let's find a place to talk privately, maybe, possibly. Where can we go? Let's just go in this hallway. All right, so Maleko shows up. I can imagine Caspian does not really want to talk to him right now. Like, probably needs some space. Maybe, maybe Maleko just says like, son, just hear, hear me out. Uh, you don't have to say anything. You don't have to, you don't have to say anything. Just let me, exp let, let me, Talk to you. Okay, well, first of all, I think Caspian's gonna yell at him. I think he's very, very upset. Arguments, yell at, yell at your dad. He's so upset right now. He's like, what? How could you? How? How? How could you? How? Wha? I think you guys can imagine. I think you can imagine. He's very upset. Maleko, I think is like just. I think he would like Caspian yell at him and just be like, he he feels like he deserves this completely. He feel okay. No, no, no. You shouldn't be angry though, sir. Yeah, you're sad. He feels awful. Sir, get off your phone though. All right, so he he's just trying to explain to Caspian tell him like he has every right to be upset with him. Oh dear. Oh 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 oh. That's a lot happening. But yeah, just. Uh, essentially explaining like he regrets it he knows what he did was a mistake he's wanted to tell Caspian for years now he was just so ashamed and he didn't want to let Caspian down and he's just he feels like yeah, everything he's ever taught Caspian he's feels like a hypocrite essentially and he knows that and obviously I think Caspian is is very upset and it's going to take a long time for him to forgive his dad for this and take a long time to heal but i think he would eventually just start hearing his dad out and like and you know his his mom is trying to say too like i i don't I don't want you to hate your father. I, I just, I, I don't want, you guys have such a great relationship and I, I just, I, I would hate for that to be ruined, like that kind of thing. And Caspian has every right to be upset. And I, I think it's just going to, again, take some time to heal from this. Probably going to need some space from his dad for a bit. Ultimately though, I think they will come out of this okay. It's gonna be tough for a while. Um, and. Caspian is still very hurt by it. Um, and I think they're also explaining it to Caspian, I think Nia would have told him this, Alice May, when she realized you didn't know, came straight to me. Like in the last episode we saw, she came to Nia with Amira and basically told, admitted to what she knew, thought Caspian would have known by now and then realized that he didn't. So just saying genuinely like, Alice May already thought you knew. She assumed we would have told you a long time ago and and just thought that you know you that you forgave your dad and that everything was okay now and again when she realized you didn't know she came straight to me and I told her that you I would talk to your dad your dad was planning on telling you very soon and then of course all of this happened I think oh and also I I do think Beleko has admitted to like because the news said that there was only one affair essentially and that it was with the client and I think Beleko has admitted that there was another time when they had first gotten married that he did also have an affair. He regrets both times, of course. He just, he he was dealing with his own issues and it just like his own, he's got, he's got his own issues. He's got relationship issues. So yeah, I mean, obviously I think Caffeine would also be very upset by that and hurt by that, but I think it'll take a bit, but I think essentially they're, they're it'll, it'll, they'll, 
hopefully come out okay. Um, there's going to be a time skip between now and the next episode too. So we're, we're just essentially like talking things through and the effects of this. Yeah, so okay. All right, so Alice May is like almost done. <laughs> almost done. Okay, surgery results. Princess A.M.'s body had extensive damage, but the doctors worked tirelessly and were able to save their life. Princess A.M. should be just fine, but definitely needs to take some time to recover. A prescription for pain relievers can be filled via the online pharmacy. Inpatient recovery. Princess A.M. will need to remain in the hospital for the next two days for post-surgical recovery. Okay, she's gonna live. She's is alive thank freaking gosh she's just going to be recovering for a bit and everyone's stressed and scared and uh, well there's there's a lot of emotions happening right now i think caspian too will talk to alice may obviously when this is all over i i, I mean i can imagine him like when she's awake, yeah, I think he's gonna stay by her side nonstop. And when she finally wakes up, him just like crying and just apologizing, but Alice May like feeling bad already apologizing to him and then him saying that like his, he, he talked to his parents and they told him like that she did really like genuinely did not know and he was just upset and I can imagine it being so, so, so emotional. So yeah, okay, happy stuff time. I think it's time for happy stuff and then we're gonna come back. Uh, but the thing that happened in the beginning um, about May, but we're gonna leave them here for now and we're gonna have some babies. Okay, so this is day two of filming and we are going to be playing with the realistic childbirth mod. So first, Genevieve just called the obstetrician and it says choosing the right birth method for you and your baby can be a daunting task. There are so many different options. It can be easy to get lost in the medical jargon and confused by the countless delivery practices. Which method are you considering? So. I want to try two different things because Natalia is going to be having her baby next. So I want to be able to see both. So this is the first time, this is the first birth that we're going to have the, um, the, the, the this mod, that we're going to be using this mod for. It's really cool. I've seen it on a stream before when we were doing the Royal Starter Save and it's really, really cool. So I'm very excited. So if you have not seen this yet, I will also link the mod below. Um. I, I honestly don't really have a preference. I feel like one of them should get a C-section. Um, natural delivery surgery. Is natural delivery in the hospital? May, uh, mm, okay, let's try home birth. Okay, oh, is this the one in the pool? Many parents contemplate home birth because they want to avoid the high-tech atmosphere and medical interventions of a hospital. Others prefer the freedom and ability to spend labor with loved ones. If you choose to give birth at home, you may call your midwives once you go into labor. They will arrive at your home and assist you until your baby is delivered. Make sure you purchase a birth pool if you're going for a water birth or a birth pillow if you're going for a bed birth. Let's go for a bed birth. However, I do, I, I kind of like the idea of the mer people to give birth in the water in the pool. I think that would be cool. So let's say like, choose this option. Okay, so now we need the birth pillow. Let's see, is this the no, this is the bedroom here. I'm so excited. Alright, baby boom birth pillow, yes. Alright, should I make it match slightly? Yeah. Just go with the white one. I, th that's, yeah, that's fine. Okay, Genevieve has gone into labor, so now she needs to call her midwife. Let's see. Start home birth. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, Dasha Chen is going into labor. Prepare for her home birth by purchasing a birth pool or birth pillows. Activities such as breathing exercises, taking a bath, or exercising on the birth ball will help her manage contraction pains and speed up dilation. Taking a bath? Uh, okay. So so I can't actually find the birth ball. Um, so Genevieve, take a bath. Did you, do we need to call the midwife too? Is that, call midwife, yes we do. Actually, John, can you call the midwife? You like, wait, 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 we should invite Corinne and like, J Cordelius and, and the, should we invite the fam? I feel like, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Well, for, all right, so calling the midwife. Oh gosh, we have to do this twice today. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe he 
Oh, ma yeah, okay, maybe he can't call the midwife. Maybe that's just, yeah, that's just a Genevieve thing. All right, you're calling the midwife. Your midwife will arrive shortly. Awesome, all right, you call the family, John. Okay, so the family is is here. Um, I, I'm so sad, I wasn't filming. I thought I was filming. Um, Cornelius was just crying in this bed that Genevieve was about to give birth in. I was like, who is in there? And it turns out it was Cornelius, and I was like, um, I'm so sad I wasn't recording that. Um, okay, let's check the dilation here. Genevieve is doing her breathing exercises, but maybe she should change it to her pajamas. Dress. Oh, whoops. Nope. Ma'am, can you check how... Ask to check dilation. So that's the midwife. She is here. Check dilation, please, ma'am. How far dilated can we have this baby? Also, why are there sparkles around Genevieve? Do y'all see that? Ooh. What is that from? Is it because she took a bath and she's clean? Cornelius, why are you just standing there? Okay, let's see. You are just one centimeter dilated. Are you ready to do this? Ooh, no, that's like that much. That's like that much. Why are you asking me if we're ready to do? There's no way we're fitting a baby through there. What? Why are you asking if we're ready? If we're one centimeter dilated? No, we're not ready. All right, take a bath. Ta take a bath. Let's try this. Corinne's here. Everyone's just kind of waiting. Cornelius, maybe you should not be in here. Oh my god, they have such a cool relationship. As for Selfie, um, maybe he's trying to talk. I don't know. I think John's freaking out a little bit. I mean, this is their first child, but I'm so excited for them. They're gonna be such great parents. Who is that? Oh, that's John's dad. Come on in, sir. Julia is doing sit-ups in the yard. Okay. Um, call over. Uh, Manuel and Tog. Oh my gosh, of course Manuel and Tog she are talking to each other. That's so freaking cute. Do they have matching facial hair? I think they do. Did I do that? I think I... Oh, no. oh, it's slight. It's slightly... Di it's basically the same. It's slightly different. They it might as well be the same. I just... Cat girl facial hair are all the same. He's gonna be a grandpa. It's John's dad. Uh, his mom should be here too. We saw them at the wedding. And then Elena's here. All right, Genevieve's taking a bath. Trying to, we're trying to make her more dilated so the baby can come out. Are you, are you ready to do this when you're one centimeter dilated? I still can't believe she asked that. There's Ellis. There's Louis. Louis, you're gonna have another grandchild. Uh, all over. Just everybody come here. Well, actually, maybe not, because this is the room that Genevieve is about to give birth in, and maybe we shouldn't crowd it. Maybe y'all should, like, sit, sit out here. Sit and chat here. There you go. I'm so glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. That seems very out of character and does not fit at all. How thought-provoking. Seem- oh! John seemed to enjoy that conversation with Prince Corn, especially when they explored more serious, thought-provoking topics. A good conversation becomes a great once the mind is engaged. Could this mean that John likes deep thoughts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's uh, that sounds in character. All right, Genevieve just took a bath. Are, are, can we? Can we, are we more dilated? Can we have the baby? Where's the midwife, ma'am? You're supposed to help her, not not talk to the boys. Come here. Ask to check dilation again, please. <laughs> She's in pain. I don't want to keep this up for too long. Uh, reality setting in from going into labor. Ooh. Uh, this mod is, it's very detailed. Are you going to do this on the cow? Oh, 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 you are doing it on the cow. Oh, okay. You're three centimeters dilated. How do you feel? That's, that's not, that's still not enough. Okay, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to do some breathing exercises. Maybe I'll have her take another bath. Um. So it says birth emergency. Duchess Genevieve might be experiencing stalled labor. Keep monitoring the situation, and if it doesn't improve, she might need an emergency C-section. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't, I didn't, I, I, this is so detailed. This is so, I was like, I didn't know that could happen. I know it could happen in real life, but like, I just wasn't expecting that to happen now. Um, okay, well, she's in the middle of taking another bath, maybe do breathing exercise. Well, so, okay, how do we monitor this situation? Do I need to, t oh, that's missing wallpaper. Um, Do I need to talk to the midwife? Ask to check dilate, yeah, probably. Let's do that again. Not not like here, you're not gonna do it here, right? Not in front of the people, please. Oh, thank God, okay, I was like, Ugh. <laughs> Please tell me they're aware enough to not do that in front of Genevieve's father-in-law and sister. You are six centimeters dilated. Remember, a strong intention, a relaxed body, and an open mind are the main ingredients for an active birth. Okay, but are we? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm so bad, I need a ruler. Is that six centimeters? That's 
I don't, I don't think that's, aren't, aren't they supposed to be like eight centimeters? Your sim isn't fully dilated. <laughs> Do breathing exercises, John, come here, please. Sway together, wait, sway together. Jonathan, that's not your real name, but John. I feel the need to lecture you suddenly. Can you, hello? I think he would very much be with his wife right now. Also, he's in a tuxedo. Stop talking to your father-in-law, Louis, let him go. Louis, stop telling your dad jokes and let John go, please. John, oh my goodness gracious. Okay, okay, all right, we're, sway we're swaying together. I don't think, oh, whoa, hello. Oh, she's in pain. This is uncomfortable. Oh my gosh, please. This is this is taking for I know labor takes a long time, and I know I said a realistic birth, but we still got another birth to go and then the rest of the episode, so they need to hurry up. Maybe I only should have done one birth in this episode, but I want to do both. Okay, she literally has a mood lit that says something feel I'm gonna fast forward this. Something feels off. That just Jen might be overthinking, but it seems like her contractions are slowing down. She remembered the words of her doctor who had warned her that stalled labor was a possibility and that it could lead whoa, 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 I'm not done I'm not done and that it could lead to a difficult and prolonged birth well yeah Duchess Jen couldn't help but think of the worst case scenarios of the potential risk to her and her baby she should whoa what she should try moving around and hopefully her contractions will pick up okay they're swaying and then maybe we should walk after this oh oh my gosh I got this the contractions are getting a little intense but Duchess keeps she keeps reminding herself that she's in control. She's strong and capable of anything. These contractions are just her body working to bring the baby in the world. Yeah, safe at home. Okay, there's a lot, there's a lot of movements here. John, do you have any? No, no, you don't. Okay, they're almost done with the swing and then I'm gonna ask her to check the dilation again. And then if that doesn't work, we're gonna go on a walk. Just walk it off. Oh, you're seven centimeters dilated. Just trust the process. You're doing a great job. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going on a walk. Go on a walk. Go for a walk. Guys, they have a mood lid. It says just the two of us from swaying. What a lovely moment. Duchess Genevieve felt calm, leaning against her partner and feeling the warmth of their body. She is grateful for having such a supportive partner in her life and she can't wait for her baby to arrive. That's so cute. Okay, are we, are we ready? Is this happening? Where's the midwife? We need you. Where the heck is she? Oh, uh, there's a crowd here. Is she here? No, the whole family's just gathered. Oh, Belle's here. <gasps> Y'all, Belle is here. Is Jack gonna be here too? Genevieve's aunt is here. Okay, where's the mid- Oh, I found her. I can't see the baby's head just yet. You are about eight centimeters dilated. I know you are in a lot of pain, but remember the purpose exceeds the pain. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna feel so bad when we get an Italian Elon. I'm just gonna wanna be done with it. And that's not fair though. <laughs> Hopefully there's is easier. Genevieve, please. <laughs> y'all, I lost the midwife. I also don't know where everybody went. I think they all left. It was taking so long. Where's the midwife? Oh, 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 horses. Oh my God. How have I not talked about horses in this episode yet? Guys, we have horses. I did a horse reaction video. We've already made some horses on the stream, which I'll link below as well. The stream where we got to see the horses on. I don't think we're going to get to the horses today, unfortunately, but we will see them very, very soon and I'll, I'll introduce y'all to all the horses. Vivian got her own horse, she got a little baby horse, and then of course we got to see Cordelia's and Ellis's actual horses. It says ready to baby. Does that mean we can baby? And does that mean the wood mid the midwife? The midwife is going to come help because I don't see her anymore. Where did she go? Is that Megan? Oh, Megan was just at the hospital with Alice May. Oh my gosh, the fan- Cornelius also probably was at the hospital to see Alice May too, and then like, had, then, then found out Genevieve was in labor and was like, oh my God, and they're like, go, go with Genevieve. We're like, we'll, we'll, we'll keep you updated on Alice May. I can see the baby's head. You're fully dilated. If you would like to do a water birth, now would be a good time to get the birth pool. No, we're doing a bed birth. Oh my God, thank God, yay. Okay, all right, ready to baby, ready to baby. Have, have, wait. Which one do I, ready to baby or have baby? I guess have baby, I don't know. Oh, John, now John's freaking out. Now you're freaking out. Oh, that was very short, okay. <laughs> okay, have baby. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, John, why are your clothes off? What happened? Why, why did you do that? Why is she changing into her bathing suit? I'm confused. John, does, this is not a, this isn't a pool. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, baby time, baby time, baby time. <gasps> Wait, where's the midwife? Isn't she supposed to help? Where did the rest of the family go? Oh my gosh, baby. Baby, a baby, their first baby. Oh, there's another crib here. I already put one there. Oh, well, okay. Oh my God, guys, look. 
That is so freaking precious. You know, I say like, I, I, <laughs> I download these realistic mods, like realistic childbirth, and then I get shocked when it takes so long and that how realistic it is when like, I've seen this part before, but I, it didn't take that long for what we were doing it on stream. Oh, oh, baby's here. A baby girl. Okay, <gasps> okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna go with Lady Lillian. So she's named after Cor Corinne's mom. Lily. Lady Lillian, yay! Oh my, I was like, is there another? <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, guys, yay, baby! <gasps> Lillian, oh! Y'all, it's so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, baby Lillian, yay, yay, yay! Yay! Oh my, this, this, okay, this animation is wild. I've definitely already seen this before, but this animation is still wild. It blows my mind every time how good it is. Oh my gosh, they have a baby. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, the thing about the realistic mods I was saying, because I remember I was shocked when the realistic fire mod was extremely realistic. I, I need I need to, I need to remember that realistic means realistic. Okay, now we need to have Natalia and Elon have their baby. I'm gonna take a quick break, but you guys won't see that break. So let's go have Natalia and Elon's baby. Okay, Natalia and Elon's turn. We're doing a C-section this time. Hopefully it doesn't take us long. <laughs> um, C-section or c cesarean section is the surgical delivery of a baby through incisions in the ad, ad oh my gosh i can't read abdomen and uterus you will be awake during your birth and your baby will be handed to you as soon as they are born you may travel to the hospital once you are in labor and the medical team will prepare you for surgery upon your arrival typical c-section takes about 45 minutes sim minutes that's fine after the baby is delivered your healthcare provider will stitch up the uterus and close the incision in your abdomen yes sounds Great. <laughs> All right, Natalia has gone into labor. Little Sade is here. Elon is here. They're having another baby. Sade is gonna get a little sibling. So we go to the hospital. Also, Natalia looks fabulous. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, why do I feel like this is wrong? Wait, how do I? Am I? I'm scared if I say have baby at hospital, she's just gonna go to the hospital and have the baby. I feel like this is wrong. Join? Am I supposed to do that? Yeah, join. Okay. Are we taking- Oh, we're not gonna take Sade. She can stay here. Well, I want the family to be there too, but she might end up staying with Samora here. Oh, 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 welcome to the clinic. You have previously spoken to our obstetrician and you chose to give birth through C-section. Yes, when you are ready, ask one of the obstetricians to give you the epidural. We will start the surgery as soon as your epidural kicks in. Yay, we're not asking the- Is the ghost an obstetric- Oh, doc. Oh, please don't tell me a ghost is gonna deliver the baby. What if I just revive this man? That just it seems weird. Hello, sir. You get to be revived. I'm, I'm not. We're not having a ghost deliver this baby. Uh. Ooh, revives him. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who you are, but you got lucky. You got a second chance at life. Okay. All right. All right. Give us an epidural now, please. But now, just give me a moment, and I will be right over. I will be right over to give you the epidural. Be sure to stay very still during the process, and it will be over before you know it. Okay. This is cool, y'all. The back. Okay. Yeah. I was like, it's in the back. Okay. All right. Oh my god. Wait. 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 Oh my god. They really. They brought Shade. Should we? Oh wait. Ask. Ask the fam to wait. Oh my gosh. Wait. There's so much happening at once. Elon's cousin just got hit by a car and and now his wife's having a baby and, and Zamora was there, but now I think she should come here. So everyone's kind of back and forth to, oh my gosh, and two babies and Cornelius. There is so much happening in one day for these royals. Oh my goodness gracious. Quirk would reveal the wanderer. No, not in the hospital, please. Okay, Elon, you gotta get your child. Wait, no, but you should be with- Okay, wait, we need- Oh my gosh. <laughs> we we need everybody here. We need everybody to come here. Where's Natalia? Okay, there's Natalia. Can you be with your wife? But can you also, like, um, is, is your child going to be okay? No, don't go home. Well, actually, yeah, go home. Go, go home. Um, go home. <laughs> but, like- a parent, okay, you've been sent to daycare. Okay, a, a family member is watching her. Acquired the potty skip. There's so much happening. Natalia, why are you up? Oh, Zamora's gonna be here too. Okay, um, not feeling this song. Uh, okay. How do you know when the epidural kicks in? Do I have to ask? Oh wait, that was the midwife. 
That was Genevieve's bit. What interesting. Uh, lay, can you lay here? Oh, wait. Oh, do we have to come to you? As for epidural, ask to check. Well, I don't think dilation matters, right? Give birth. Your sim isn't fully. Oh, it, dilation does matter? Wait. You're currently one centimeter dilate. Please don't tell me dilation matters. Can you do something about this, ma'am? Ask to check. Us, or, wait, what? Oh, hi, Zamora. Please help. I don't, I've clearly never had a baby. <laughs> I don't know what the process is here. Uh, what do I do now? Zamora, I wish you could talk to me and tell me. Can you, can we have a C? Do I, wait, do I need like a, is there a C-section machine? I thought they, I thought they said as soon as the epidural kicks in, they can start. As soon as your epidural kicks, okay, so is the epidural in? Wait, wait, wait. Pain relief from receiving epidural. Finally, some pain relief. Getting the epidural didn't hurt at all. Natalia's feeling slightly tingling sensation, but nothing compared to the contractions. She can take it. She can't wait for the medicine to take effect. Oh, oh, zero minutes. Zero minutes. Is it, did it work? Ready? Wait. Oh, that was an old notification. Help! Give birth! Yeah! Oh, I guess I might as well have the guy who we revived to deliver this baby for us be the one to deliver the baby. I mean, he, he's rev reviven for a reason. Revived for a reason? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I was uh, like, what? We're sent for family. Be really nice if I could move in with you. Oh my gosh, wait, yeah. Wait, to help with the new baby, even though she's also helping with MM too. She'll, she'll be back and forth. Okay. All right, so we're about to have the C-section. While, while they're doing this, I just have to share. So I did, I say I know nothing about childbirth, and technically I don't. Um, I did, if you guys know, Megan Trader had a book. I listened to it. Honestly, just for curiosity's sake, I was just like, just one day, I'd like to be prepared. Um, she had a C-section, so that's what she talks about in the book. And, oh, this is cool. Wait, wait, this is cool. But I'm gonna be honest, listening to it made me never want to have one. And I know sometimes you can't help it. And I won't go into detail because, again, it's called a TMI book. And I don't know if this is the place for it. Even though I, I don't think it should be taboo to talk about, like, giving birth. But I just, it, I, <sighs> I, 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 I'd be scared. I'd at least want to be put to sleep during it, I think. <laughs> oh my, okay, okay. So we have a, that was so fast. <laughs> that was so fast compared to Genevieve's. Okay, we're gonna have a girl, or they had a girl. Um, so lady, oh, whoops, a lady. So I want to go with Binta, but I was kind of debating her, naming her Binta Marie for like Natalia's mother. And I, like, it's a mixed baby. So I was like, oh, maybe like having, like since she's mixed and we could have like the names like that. Also having more characters with two names. Um, so, cause I thought Binta Marie had a nice ring to it. Am I even gonna fit that now though? Okay, I can't right now, but let me know what y'all think. I am curious. If, if we like it, I'll add it. And let me know in the comments. And then when I announce the baby birth on Instagram, I'll, I'll have decided by then. So Lady Binta, possibly Lady Binta Marie. Yay! Birth certificate, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where does the baby go? Oh, not here. The baby's not here. That mod is cool, y'all. I highly recommend that one. That would be really fun. Um, even though it did take a while, but I, I honestly, it could just be because my game time speed is like really slow. I used MC Command Center to adjust that. Um, but yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're now at the Sulani Royal Palace. We have Ava and Leilani here, kind of an uncomfortable situation, but Ava is here to talk about what she mentioned in the machinima about Ali'i, which is Makai and Kona's mom and Leilana's aunt. This is just, oh wow, okay, there's a lot happening right now. Um, obviously things are still dense between them because of what happened with Ava and Dean. Um, Dean's here, but I, I'm i sure he was like kind of surprised. Well, I'm sure Leilana told him why she's coming over, but like they need to talk about this because she's like, what the heck, what do you mean? My aunt might've had something to do with May's death. So those who don't, who didn't see season one, don't remember season one, I, I've talked about May before, I've mentioned her in passing. Obviously, if you've seen season one, then you know exactly what I'm talking about, especially if you've seen my 60 Facts and Secrets video where I said the real reason of how May died, which technically no one thought in the series anyone knew about. 
So here's the deal. This is what Ava is telling Leilana. So Leilana is like, okay, Spill, what is, are they doing mischief interactions? She's like, Spill, what is going on? So Ava is telling her all of this stuff. Basically, Ava and Henry, which is Amira, was Amira and May and Kellen and Bellatrix and Charles and Diana's dad, they're the only ones who knew about this. So when they were doing, they, they think May died because of a complication. She had trouble breathing. That's what everyone thinks. That's what how everyone thinks May died. But Ava is telling Leilana that first of all, they, they need to keep this on the down low, which I'm sure Leilana definitely wants to do. Basically during the autopsy, they found MDMA in May's system, which is the drug that was mentioned and found in the ledger. And when they found it, they knew that like that alone wouldn't have been able to kill May. So they do, they know that it was just a, like a bad reaction essentially. Like it was multiple things mixed into one and that's what caused her death. Well, that was uncalled for. Queen Leilana acting maliciously towards Ava. <gasps> Wait, what? Wishing Sims could just be nice to each other instead of whatever that was. Dislikes malicious interaction sure, but that's so interesting. Okay, okay, well, I, I don't think, I, I do think Leilana might be like a bit defensive about this. I could see, so basically they didn't know like if it was an accident, if it was on purpose when they saw this, or when they found this in May's system. Henry asked Ava not to tell anybody, a, mostly he didn't want Amira to know because he didn't want her to be looking for the person who drugged her for the rest of her life. Because I think Henry tried. Henry really tried to do as much investigating as he could before he died, but he wasn't able to find any leads on it. So this is all she's telling Leilana. So, okay, I, I'm, does she like, I mean, I guess so. Don't most people dislike malicious interactions? <laughs> oh dear, oh, unpleasant. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, maybe this isn't going that, oh, I mean, I feel like Leilana is like that, how do you know it was my aunt? Like that like she, uh, Leilana kept the ledger a secret because she didn't know if her aunt was just like involved in something that she didn't want people to know about. So I mean, the whole family's super stressed right now. Like the, like uh, Kimmy McConaughey here, they're all stressed. I don't know if they think Kaleo's home or not. I feel like they're just dealing with a lot right now. Uh, Kaleo is, has not quite yet returned, so we'll see what happens when he does. I don't, yeah, well, okay, so I, I think, I think Le or like Leilana would be saying this and be getting a bit defensive about her aunt, and then Ava is like, I, I, I don't want this to be true as much as I'm sure you don't want it to be true. I just wanted to, t I, I needed you to know, I, I just like, this is the first lead that we've had in years, or no, this is the first lead they've really ever had. Henry just spent the rest of his life like trying to find some more information about it. So now Ava's like, I, I just, I, I, I feel like I have to, oh, can you, no, you guys are having an offensive conversation. This isn't going well, this is not going. <laughs> But yeah, she's like, I just feel like I need to do this. I need to like, she loved May, like May was her stepdaughter and obviously like really loved Henry and, and feels like she just, she said she needs to look into this for Henry, for her family, for May, for me, like just, just, she just wants to look more into this. And I think Leilana thinking about that and especially Ava saying like, she really doesn't want this to be true either. I think Leilana is finally like, fine. We'll look into it more, we'll investigate more and I think they're gonna do some more investigating before they tell Amira. Cause obviously they don't wanna bring it up to her if it's not true. Uh, looks like Samaria is here. I kind of think that they would have gone to the hospital. Maybe they came back because of all the stuff going on with their family. I don't know if Bellatrix would have stayed or come back to, I feel like, okay. So I'm gonna control Siberia. After the whole news thing and how they were like, like what else is the royal family hiding? I feel like that was the CEO's hint to Leilana and I mean like to the family, like we know more. And I kind, oh, so Mary is happy. Oh dear. Oh, the, oh this is about to break my heart. Um, So I think that, Dean is gonna be like, hey, Samaria, can I talk? Wait, no, now I need Bellatrix here too. Maybe, okay, so maybe, okay, hold on. Okay, so yeah, what if Samaria and Bellatrix are home and they're like, I, like they came back from the hospital, they're giving updates about Alice May and they're like, we wanted to be here too um, to make sure everything is like, like they're keeping us updated about Alice May, her procedure like went well and she's like, 
at least kind of stable now. Um, but they wanted to come back here because of the family. I, I feel like paparazzi is just like crowding the gates of the palace. Like, I feel like it was really hard for them to get through. So yeah, what, what if? What if Ava comes down and uh, Bellatrix like, wait, mom, why are you here? I feel like Dean and Ava would have talked about telling Samarian Bellatrix. I, oh, this is so tough, y'all. I'm like, this is such a hard situation. And I definitely feel like there's gonna be mixed feelings about this. Cause like not everyone wants to know that, especially cause like Dean and Elon are trying to work things out. But at the same time, I feel like Ava wants to come clean. Dean wants to come clean. Leilana is like, I mean, it might ruin y'all's relationship. Okay. Oh, he's hugging her and is like, Samaria, I have to tell you something. And she's like, oh my God. Oh, wait, wait, this is good. Wait, okay, you, oh, Bellatrix is mad. Wait, I missed that. I missed that. Wait, these are perfect. This is great, actually. Miss, oh, about these tricks in game. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I know it's like about mischief, but it kind of works. Cause it's like, she doesn't feel right about the tricks in game, like the cheating and that she wants to turn a new leaf and accept that she doesn't want to do that anymore. I don't know. Um, okay, now Bellatrix is mad. Oh, she's embarrassed. Okay, I really, I don't, I don't think, I don't think this would go well. Mama and, oh, Petty Jack. Ooh, would she? Would she to her? I think she would be pretty pissed. I think Bellatrix would be very, very pissed. I I, I don't think Samaria's like as angry, just very upset. Although, so she's happy, just ignore that baby. Oh, Leilana's in here too. Leil Leilana's like, maybe she's starting to do research, but maybe not in here. This is probably, oh, now you're happy. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, no, wait, 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 no. Maybe Leilana would be in here. Maybe Leilana does want to like just, I don't know, talk to Samaria about this too. Cause I, I think Samaria's got a lot of questions. Why is she still happy? <gasps> New family dynamic, difficult. Some Sims just can't seem to get along with each other. New conversation and interaction having potential to turn unpleasant. It's certainly looking that way between Dean and Samaria. Family members with difficult family dynamic will be mean to each other more often, can easily become bitter with each other, intentionally neglect social goals. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with yeah. Y'all, Kaleo just returned and is talking to Leilana. <gasps> she, wait, 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 she's angry from witnessing inappropriate behavior. Aggravating conversation. <gasps> Also, this of Kaleo being scared, this picture is very funny to me. Okay, so Kaleo has just come back, terrified, sad, um, a, um oh, no, not the little anger, um, just like freaking out. I really think, I, I think he'd have a breakdown, guys. Although Leilana's angry, she's very angry. Oh, what is happening here? What is this one? Ins? Wait, are you in? No, 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 don't insult your mother. Wait, what? <gasps> Wait, is she yelling at him or is he yelling at her? Because I I think she would yell at him. He's crying. Is she gonna yell at him? Okay, I think he would admit what he did, you guys. I really think, I think he, oh, don't throw a drink. We'll argue about house rules. Wait, ooh, discipline, recent behavior. No, no, wait, hold on. <laughs> uh, yell at, okay. Oh, she's embarrassed. She's embarrassed. Did I, <gasps> yo, yo, did I raise, the okay, it says from watching emotional about that, but did I raise this? Okay, d not that it's about an emotional about that, but like that he's admitting to what he did. I, I do feel like he would tell her. I feel like he'd tell her what he saw, but he didn't mean to like, he was the one who like leaked the newspapers and he didn't mean for them to get the ledger too. Like what is pissed? Did I raise this? Oh my gosh, guys, did I raise this? Stop, why is that my favorite thing ever? It's so fitting. Oh, he's just, you know, he's still crying. I'm trying to get her to yell at him and discipline him. Not for the emotional meltdown. Cleo, stop. I'm sorry, stop crying. <laughs> Wait, they want to get back. Wait, no. Oh my gosh, she's like, I can't even look at you right now. I can't even talk to you right now. I am so, she's so pissed. Play oh, uh, stop crying. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to stop so we can continue with this. I think Leilana would, I don't think she's gonna let this one slide. Even if Kaleo's like this upset and like admitting to this, 
I, I don't think she's going to let it slide. I, I mean, like, he should have been disciplined a long time ago, but like, I don't, I, oh, she's yelling, she's yelling, yes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Are you about house rules? She's, oh my gosh, she's like, you betrayed this family. <laughs> Rant and rave. Like you, I, oh, I can imagine her saying this too. Like you were so fixated on, on trying to get back at Caspian. Like what about Nia? Like you, do you know how, like she didn't, she didn't, I just, like you brought this and in, her into this. Like, do you even think about how this would affect her? I, and just now your actions have just completely ruined the family reputation. Oh my God. What if he's yelling at her and like, no, I don't know. I just think he's having a breakdown. I think he would say, I, I think he would be like yelling. I'm sorry. It's creepy. I'm sorry. I just, I, oh, can I ground? I think she's going to do more than ground him, but like oh, only level three. <laughs> oh, Ava, Ava. But now is not the time, girl. You need to go home. I think. Oh, oh my God! Bellatrix just came in, just stomping after her mother. <gasps> the D. Oh my. Oh no, Ava, go home. I think she is going home, actually. Okay. Um, parenting. Help with needs. Courage. Holding black. Wait, what? In influence. Influence to to be a better. Influence to go to therapy. Is that an option? I doubt it. But influence to. Sleep, shower, play, pee. Nope, no therapy. Okay, well, I okay. So yeah, I, I think I think she'd be yelling at him, maybe crying and saying like I'm sorry. And she is like, uh, what? Oh no, wait, wait, wait. No, I don't actually want you to provoke him. Hold on, wait. No, no, no. I think she's like you. You're not even like trying to get better. You're not like doing anything. And, and then he's like, I'm sorry. Like I'll go to therapy. Like he's he's finally saying he'll go. And she's like, you still like then there. What you did something so horrible like how could you do this how how could you be so careless how could you just all this stuff so i i think she is going to punish him she might even be thinking about taking away his title i think this is a good time to end the episode okay <laughs> That was a, a big episode. So in the next episode, there is going to be a time skip. I think Cedric also might be aging up in the next episode. I do want to say too, guys, um, I don't know how many, if I'm going to be able to do as many story posts as I have been. Um, so just so you're aware, I, I, I kind of want to go back to doing more videos. Plus when there's less story posts, then you guys get to interpret things in your own way and, and kind of like, I don't know, there's like room for bigger imagination from you guys. So um, I, I I don't think there's gonna be as many story posts from now, which probably this isn't a good time to say that because a lot has just happened. Um, if I ever feel like doing one in the future, maybe it'll be a flashback. But yeah, there'll, there'll be some when I feel that they're needed, but there's definitely not going to be as many and I'm gonna try to do more videos. Let me know what you think Cleo's punishment should be like let me know your thoughts on on what's been happening and about just like this craziness and oh gosh so much happened in this episode you guys so so much happened make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this wild ride and i will see you guys in the next video bye